and welcome everybody into today experiment i wanted to know if it's actually worth it to buy blight maps from players juice them up run them up and if you can get more profit um, than you actually spend for them um, basically this is what we are looking for in today's episode and I'm pretty excited to show you guys because I definitely think that we're gonna have really great result, results and a lot a lot of loot. Today we're gonna experiment with low tier maps uh, just because I wanted to see how much profit we can have with low tier maps. Um, basically we're gonna run five of those blight maps buy it from players that was around 50 chaos orbs in total uh spend it which 50 chaos orb is like half an exa uh, exalt orb so it's not it, it it was not cheap at all all right guys in the next step we are going to see how to supply yourself with those blighted maps and what to look for basically it's pretty simple going to the PUE trade going to the main page and select the map filter all right after you select the map filter the next step is to include that we want to see only blighted maps uh, after that for the minimum quantity of the map i suggest you put 10 because you got a lot more value because uh, if you buy blighted maps for seven chaos that have one percent quantity and you have the same map with 10 quantity for seven chaos i think you guys understand what i'm talking about you're getting two chisels extra for your packet so i suggest minimum quantity of the map to be 10 and then the tiers i put three and five uh, just because the bigger tier it is the more better loot we're gonna have and honestly this episode as we said uh, as we said at the beginning it's all around low tier maps that's why we're just gonna have the maximum of tier as a five all right after you select all of those options uh, click search and before you even going to buy immediately the first rare blighted map check the quantity i suggest you check for a maps if they are rare to have minimum 75 percent quantity that way you're gonna get as much as possible results the next thing that you can looking for it's a uh, maps that have as much as bigger tier as possible if you're trying to do this experiment like me on the with lower tier you pick up like tier 5 maps uh look for like 16 quantity and i think guys you're gonna be good to go all right guys in the next step i'm gonna show you how to build those maps first you need a blighted map a couple of chisels a couple of alchemy orbs and a couple of scattering orbs of course the oil is absolutely up to you there is a different type of oils and they give different type of benefits of the map some of them makes the map run faster some of them give more loot and some of them make the towers more stronger this is absolutely per personal preference and is up to you all right let's start with the craftment first we want to make sure that the map is half 20 percent quantity after that we're gonna alchem it and make sure that it have more than 75 percent uh, quantity uh, in our case we have 78 so this is abs absolutely perfect example of a good blighted map the next step is to talk with the sister Cassia and just up the map I've been choosing the amber oil which is gonna make my towers be less cost and all of those upgrades will be less cost as well the maximum pack size is increased by 50% and I think this is a good example of really really safely run a map if your build is not something crazy or you just start playing PUE or you're absolutely newbie, I suggest you to use this type of oil in order to secure the win and get as much as possible profit. Of course, if you have a really, really, really crazy build, you can use different type of uh, oils that can increase at the end the most profit from the chests that you're going to receive. Into the experiment, I've been choosing those maps. I'm just gonna move them real quick so you can see guys every single one of the modes how much quantity and rarity they have and let's just start running them all right something pretty important at least for me it's to remove the portal uh that is close to our main priority that we need to defend 
just because sometimes it's super annoying because uh, I accidentally click the portal or the portal is exactly into the location where you need to build the map and trust me guys this is pretty pretty annoying all right guys what I suggest at the beginning to do is to put the towers exactly at the beginning of the routes that's way you can um, do as much as possible efficiency into the map due to the fact that those towers immediately going to cut out the most mobs and whatever the boss spawns uh, they will just do some damage of it and whatever they're not in range anymore of the boss they just gonna start killing the other mobs that are you know not that important so you have a lot more time and uh, a lot more good time to clear the map and secure the base uh, otherwise you might lose a couple of uh, lives and this is really frustrating because you're not gonna get as much as possible loot uh, from the from the chest uh, other stuff basically i'm using the minion maps those little bit of helicopters shooting around and this is pretty good tactic because i've been having the most good time with it they do quite a lot of damage they have a good range and also you can supply them with more damage with the, the buffing towers uh, this is the green ones that increase the damage as well Alright guys, time to count how much profit we earn from the map, from the unique items and the cards. This is total of 6 Chaos Orbs profit. Uh, I've been checking them and they have kind of a okay stats, especially this jewel over here. And you really really need to make sure that what you're checking, it's actually have pretty good stats. Otherwise you're gonna end up having unique items that are actually not selling because somebody else has been selling them with better stats. So we're looking to have something that it's actually pretty decent stats like this jewel over here. We almost reached the maximum potential of this jewel and this is what we're looking for. We want to make sure that this jewel is actually sellable. From the splinters, scrubs and the quantity gem of 18% we receive 12 chaos orbs. From the other currencies, sextants and oil, we receive a total of 20 chaos orbs. The profit of the items that are into the stash is around 38 it's chaos orbs and we spent 10 chaos orbs for the map and upgrading it. So in total we have 28 chaos orbs profit, which I think it's absolutely amazing, especially when we just spent 10. <laughs> From 10 you got 28, so I think it's pretty good. And let's jump into the second map.
All right, from the round number two, we have total of 20c profit. It didn't drop the most crazy amount of loot, but profit is a profit, and I'll gladly take it. All righty, round number three. Let's go. All right, round number three with my rough calculations, we have quite a bit around 46 Chaos Orbs. Uh, most of those cards are not very crazy. Most of them are, I mean, all of them is one Chaos Orb. Uh, the only thing, I think this is pretty decent jewelry for two hands worth. It gives us a lot of damage, uh, critical strike multiplier. I mean, if we don't look about uh, increased projectile damage because Especially my build doesn't need that, but the other three multipliers for damage are pretty decent. Uh, most of the stuff are the scraps that actually help us uh, return uh, the money back, as well as the oils. Alrighty, run number four. Let's go.
All right. Round number four, we have total profit of 10 chaos orbs. Well, didn't uh, it was not the most craziest run and we didn't receive a lot of loot, but we definitely learned a method how to deal with the mobs, especially the spiders, and this is the fire towers. We have to keep in mind that this is a low tier level maps and nothing that big of a craziness can drop. So I'm grateful for those damn 10 chaos orbs and we are moving on with the map number 5. Alright, around number 5, we've got 14 Chaos Orbs Profit. Thanks God that I got 4 shards for Exalted Orb. Uh, this basically save, uh, saved the day. Um, I got a couple of cards. Of course, Emperor's Luck. This could be pretty big or pretty small. We can got Mirror, we can got Chisels, we can have everything here. Um, and the other one is for Essence. Alright guys, total profit from all the 5 runs. We have... 118 chaos orbs uh, this is converted from all of those items uh, basically we spent less than an hour basically every single one run is like 10 minutes uh, and picking up all the items so you can have one exalt per hour with this method of farming of course we've been using oil that not very much um, give us um more like profit value uh basically the more um hard to obtain oils like crimson oil uh, give us a little bit more value at the end to have a bigger chance to gather a more crazy amount of loot or better loot uh, we've been using oil that just decrease uh, the cost of the towers which means that we can definitely boost the potential of the drops uh let's not forget that we've been using low tier maps uh this can actually potentially skyrock in uh next tier of maps like after after tier 5 and uh red maps definitely is gonna have a lot more potential all right we are at the end of the video if you enjoyed my content and was having a good time click that subscribe button give it a like and guys see you into the next video